Welcome to a road edition of the Part-Time Preppers. We are, way, are on our way to Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Going to spend a day or two in Intercourse and maybe visit the Green Dragon Flea Market that we heard so much about. A uh, hand model. Uh, so what do you think of all this? A lovely hand model. Well, I'm looking forward to all that Amish cooking. Yes, good Amish cooking. And we did some math. It's been 18 years since we've been in intercourse. So uh, we'll keep you updated and posted on our travels and adventures. Okay, we'll see you soon. Flowing like a song. These are my people. My memories. These are my Welcome to Green Dragon Silver Pickups. Yes, as you saw in the vid there, uh, 
there was some coin dealers there, which I suspected and heard that there was. So we uh, stopped at a few of them during our flea market adventure, 93 degrees it was there. Uh, and we lasted about five and a half hours at the flea market, me and the hand model. I was very proud that I made it. I knew she would make it through. Um, but here are the silver pickups, and uh, let's do them quickly. Uh, there you go. First uh, dealer we stopped at had some nice bars. Um, this one uh, from the Madison Mint back in 73, 74, I want to say. Uh, many, many, many years ago, I picked up the Kennedy uh, bar. Uh, I believe they made all the presidents up till Gerald Ford. And um, uh, he had the Truman. I wish I had gotten the Truman now and uh, the Roosevelt bars there. And um, so we picked this uh, one up. I got it in honor of mom because... That was her favorite president. I know there's controversy, but there is, which is about every president. But um, there, in honor of mom, it was 21. Uh, yes, a little over spot for a, basically a generic bar, but they were a well done series, I thought. Uh, so there it is. There's old Frankie. And then uh, that was the only thing I got at that dealer. He had some cheap supplies, uh, tubes, $3. I mean, $1 for three tubes. So we got some tubes off him. Um, okay, and then another dealer had a couple of bags of foreign coins. One bag was marked uh, $19, and I got some beauties in there that I have been looking for. Uh, let me adjust this a little so we can see it better. Uh, Cinco Pesos. Um, there it is. Yes. It looks like he's got a little scar on his cheek there. It kind of makes him look tougher. Um, 1952. Uh, I cherry-picked. He had a couple of these. And this was definitely the nicest one. I, I love the way they have the silver content on the rear. And uh, there you have that. So that's one of the ones uh, we've been looking for. Very nice, uh, majestic looking coin. And then finally, I've never seen these at my coin deal. I mean, I know I could get them off eBay. Uh, the famous Mexican uh, 1968 Olympic coin there. I know they come in different variations. I'll have to look it up. Or unless Silverino's watching, I know the Olympic rings, uh, there's different variations. And, um, yes, I was thrilled to get this. I don't know if $19 a coin was the greatest deal. But there, there are some beauties there that I've been looking for. And there I was standing in front of several of them. And very good. There's the tongue. I know there's variations on that tongue. <laughs> but, okay, let's continue on. And a cougarang, uh, silver cougarang. This isn't the greatest shape. I believe the mintage is pretty low on this, however. Uh, there's the queenie. Uh, queenies look better, at least as far as other coins. Um, there it is. Uh, I guess that's five dollars or five shillings, maybe. Yes, um, not dollars. Uh, but there it is. Uh, that's our second silver cougarang. I believe the other one I uh, showed in a few videos ago. On that, we had a long time. So there it is. There's old Queenie. Then he had another bag uh, marked um, $8. However, I did talk him down to $7 a coin. There was a smaller silver foreign coins in there. And uh, this one I, I, I've admired. I've seen before. With the two horses here. 10 lira coin. I don't know if the camera's picking it up all that great. 1927. Majestic looking coin. There you go. Nice mustache there, nice and thick. Um, <clears throat> we got two of them, because he had two, and I definitely like the coin. I might try to flip one, but I don't think they go all that much money. And there's the other one there. And I've never seen this coin before, uh, although I don't think it's rare. Angola? There it is. It's got quite the back there, reversed to decipher as a plane flies overhead. Uh, 1952. Kind of unique. Never saw that one before. And uh, added to our Centavo collection there. 50 Centavo, 1945 Filipino. I don't know, again, if we're getting good clarity here outside although it's such a nice day and there you have it 1945 
And finally, something that I don't think is rare, but I've never seen this at my local coin dealer. Uh, one rupee, Indian, or India, 1944. There you have that. This will definitely go into the foreign coin booty bank. There's the old king there, that crown. Crown almost looks a little too big there. But uh, good looking man there he was. And uh, that was the silver pickups at the Green Dragon Flea Market. Um, we're going to be doing some canning in a short time. It's getting close to the noon hour. So we'll be busy the next several hours doing some canning. Got some great deals. We have some tomatoes of our own, but uh, we also picked up some big chunky red tomatoes at fantastic prices not at the green dragon but on the road to the green dragon at a I believe it was a mennonite uh, household and they had quite the farm and they were they were priced to go there was tomatoes so you take care be good keep stacking and thanks for watching bye